Hi guys, how are you? Good, hey, thanks. <laughs> um, I, Josephine, I really like how we track Tessa's professional ambitions throughout the series thus far. And obviously they play a really important part in After We Fell. Can you talk about what Seattle means to her? Um, yeah, I think that it's, well, she's been offered an internship at Vance Publishing and I think it's her kind of foray into the adult world and into the workforce. Not that she's really entering it because she's still in college, obviously. Um, and it's just an internship, but I think it provides this opportunity for her to get into something that she loves, uh, which obviously doesn't happen to most people in college to be offered, you know, an internship while they're still there. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, meanwhile, uh, Hero Harden is really struggling in this film with a lot of his inner demons, lashing out at others because of them. What is it like for you to explore that darkness inside him? And what is his biggest obstacle, would you say, to overcome this film? I love it. Uh, I love it. I enjoy, I enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it's quite freeing to be able to do that because I feel like we're restricted. We restrict ourselves a lot and Harden doesn't. And, and at times, um, I have to admit it is quite enjoyable, but obviously on the flip side, as you say, the, the biggest obstacle to overcome is, is, is that his, te is his temperament and his, you know, vulnerability and, and how much he relies on the alcohol and, and how kind of he is still broken inside and how I guess dependent he is on Tessa and a number of things. I don't even know what's at the top. They kind of all kind of they kind of all often find themselves kind of falling into one one big jumble of things. So I guess un unpicking that mess slowly, bit by bit, and that kind of gradual, yeah, fixing himself is is, is kind of his his obstacle. Yeah, it's it's a long process. So it's you know it's it's interesting how each film dives into a different piece of it. Uh, yeah. Josephine, um, so Castiel Landon takes the reins directing this film. Uh, did she bring a different perspective for you? I just personally was surprised by like how young she is. And I feel like that youthful energy is in the film. <laughs> what uh, did you get from her experience as a director? Yeah, I think Kisto definitely brought a different energy to these films. I think every director does. Uh, I think her style is a little, well, she's read the books. And so I think that helps when you're doing an adaptation. Not, not that that's always necessary, but um, I think she has a very uh, a gritty style and kind of, she's very, uh, She's very sensitive and I think she captures the sensuality well and uh, she kind of gives the room, uh, the scenes room to breathe. Um, and yeah, being young and I think coming from an acting background definitely helps that. I love that. We explore um, a few more family dynamics in this film. I'm sure that, uh, you know, book fans obviously know what we are talking about, but <laughs> what doors would you say that opens to Tessa and Harden's relationship, Hero? Yeah, well, I think the most notable thing about kind of the change in, in storyline here is that they're still dealing with, with, you know, obstacles and hurdles and trying to make the relationship work, but they've gotten older and now they're dealing with the more adult issues. And like you say, the family definitely, I feel like it has been there, but comes into play a lot more now, especially on one, but on both sides, for sure. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, especially relatable which is which is a good one i feel like the previous films are slightly more specific but that theme in general is, is is a lot more relatable and um and important to explore for that exact reason so yeah i'm excited for the fans to see those sides of the characters families definitely on the flip side um tessa gets a lot of opportunities to compare what perhaps a relationship with another man could be that is not Harden. And yet she knows that she wants Harden and that's that's not, you know, there's never like wavering for her. What is it that you think Tessa sees in Harden that always draws her back to him? Well, um, yeah, I first of all, I don't think it's just this film. I think in all the films, she has an opportunity to compare him to another guy. Uh, I, I, I think that part of the frustration and, and part of the draw of the relationship is that she doesn't exactly know, they don't really know, at least at the start, why they're drawn to one another. Um, it's a bit of an intangible connection, but I think that if you were really to analyze it intellectually, they're very similar. And I think that they just have qualities that complement one another. And it, eventually they, they bring out the best in one another. I think they also bring out the worst, but I think it's that situation, not so much of opposites attract, but just different people complementing one another's qualities. Oh, that's great. 
Well, you guys did a great job, and I am sure that your fans are super excited to see this uh, chapter of the film. And meanwhile, now I'm waiting for you know the wrap up because I'm like, well, how are we gonna? How is this gonna turn out? So thank you guys so much. Have a thank great day. You. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you Bye. so much.